This is by way of an experiment. I had to do a drawing for the end papers for my new book, Poochie Town, which is uh, still in production. And I thought that since I had this camera, Panasonic LX100, which takes time-lapse photography, that I would record myself working out the idea sketch and then the uh, first production sketch and then the transferring of the elements of the production sketch via a light board to a piece of uh, Strathmore 2 ply plate finish series 500 Bristol. And the subsequent working out of the drawing and the inking of it. And as you can see, all of this is underway. I don't really have much to say about it. It seems pretty self-explanatory to me. It's a little bit um, cringe-inducing to watch something like this unfold. Yeah, it's so much better to view it in memory where uh, I have a sort of uh, um, comfortable view of how it all went, but now I can see that there's a lot of uh, fumbling and groping, and the drawing isn't really very dynamic, you know, it isn't really coming together very much the way that I wanted it to. I don't know, these things have a way of improving with age after they've been finished, so uh, we'll see. But I don't think this one is going to age well. I think that one of the problems that I have here is that the camera is situated such that I can't really get in there the way that I would like to. Ordinarily, I would sort of sketch this out at arm's length, and then when I was inking passages that I wanted to have uh, detail that re would reward scrutiny, I usually get my nose right down there in the paper. And I can't really do it in this case because it would completely block out the view of the camera, which I think I managed to do anyway at a certain point. My, my head is seen more than the drawing at some point. But you know, that's that's what makes this such an honest and authentic document. That and this rambling semi-coherent soundtrack I've provided for it. I'm just going to let this stand, which shows how unconcerned I am with uh, getting this right or doing a good job on it. Frankly, I've spent my whole life being imprisoned by perfectionism, and I just have decided that from now on I'm just not going to give a shit. Anything goes. I just don't care. I don't care how good it is. I don't care how nice it came out. I don't care about anything except getting the damn thing done so that I can go somewhere and play. Frankly, that's all I want. But if I am going to continue to document these failures, I'm going to have to find out, I'm going to have to figure out a method for positioning the camera so that I can get in there closely and do the the kind of nose to paper scrutinization that I need to do in order to get things the way that I want them to be. And uh, the practical demands of the lens. It really, uh, it's really an unforgiving kind of a thing. You can't, you can't tell it anything really, or at least I can't, because it's suspended over my head so I can talk to it. And I do talk to it, but it doesn't uh, move. When I do that, I'm mostly talking to it, I guess, because I'm kind of lonely in my studio. I don't really, I don't really do much but this kind of thing all day long. You know, when I'm working on one of those Frank books, it's just plotting and drawing these wavy lines over and over and over again. You know, it kind of takes its psychological toll on me. Now, look at that. You know, the problem is that I've got. Um, Pinot's vintage eau de quinine hair tonic on my hair, and it makes it so wiry that it's it's uh, more interesting than the drawing. I wish I could get that stuff now, but they don't make it. They make a sort of modern equivalent that isn't really any good. Well, it looks like we're closing in on this. I'm doing my last little bit of touch-up, the final 10% of the work that yields 50% of the effect, and pretty soon this thing will be done. 